Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another Transformers review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the RED or Robot Enhanced Design Coronation Starscream figure. So if you haven't seen my previous three RED reviews you might not know that I, I wasn't overly impressed with the Prime RC figure but the Cheetor and the Bumblebee figures have been very good so I am hoping that the Starscream figure continues that trend and we get a decent action figure so let's find out but before we do let's have a look at the packaging and as you can see there's Starscream looking all smirky from inside his plastic prison he's got nothing to be smirky about has he anyway there he is and then you've got this lovely piece of artwork down here he, he is not happy he's just spotted galvatron that's what's happening there <laughs> yeah he looks he looks really good looks nice in there and then that bit of artwork carries around onto this side so yeah looks very good and then on the back you've got all the uh, the information showcasing some of the things that he can do and then on whoops and i'm not my camera of course I have to do it once don't I <laughs> and on this side you've got all the accessories that he comes with um I don't know if he's wearing the cape oh it looks like it's a cloth cape oh that's interesting okay all right so let me crack him open and we'll have a closer look right so here's Starscream out of his box and he, he looks pretty good actually uh, I really like the way he looks but before I get into the figure proper, let's have a look at what he comes with. Now, straight off the bat, I will just say that um, his his other wing comes packaged unattached. So you have to put that on, but we'll get to that in a minute. So he comes with that, he comes with the crown, which is quite nice. It's done in this gold plastic. Just some red highlights. It's quite nice just realized I've got some muck on my fingers from a previous review so please ignore that it's not my hands are dirty it's just um, it's paint so, uh, it comes with two blast effects for the null rays he comes with both of its null rays and these are attached in packet but mine seem to be slightly I'm not quite sure if it's the peg or the actual hole here that's slightly deformed and that they, they just keep dropping off. So I just need I need something to tight, tighten that up, but I'll get to that shortly. It comes with one pair of outspread or spread out hands. So you can do that pose. You know that pose. We all know that pose. And it comes with two shoulder pads. Um, now I will say I had an issue with mine. Um, which side was it? Crikey, I can't remember which side it was now. Uh, I was trying to put one side on. Oh, it was this side. I was trying to put this side on and it kept sort of getting, as I was trying to plug it in, it kept sort of pushing over to the one side. So it was getting quite stressed. I will try and put it on for this review and then I will never take it off again because yeah and just so just be be mindful of that that you might have a slight issue with stressing on this peg but I'll get to that when I get to it and um, I forgot to put this in the shot before I started recording but he does come with a cloth cape it's I'm not sure what it is it feels like nylon so I mean it's more, it's more like not nylon isn't it so it's um it's got these bits at the top so you can put those well i'll show you how it goes in a minute and then it is it is cut nicely at the bottom but the trouble with it being a, a cloth cape is you can't really reenact that pose because it just sort of hangs behind him i mean you probably do it you know if you put like a little bit of nylon thread through it or something onto his arm i don't know hey we'll get to that in a minute we'll get to that in a minute right so let's let's see let's see what we can do right, i'm going to leave these hands to one side for a minute um let's talk about the null rays so you can put the blast effects on the null rays just want to 
focus, come on, focus, focus, there we go. So you can see, put a hole there. So it just goes on like that. Now, like I said, the problem with mine is that they don't really hold on. So, um, <laughs> of course, because the camera's on, it's going to work now. That's actually working fine now. Oh, you can see it's a little bit. So yeah, it does work actually, even with mine being slightly loose. That's actually that's actually okay. Let's try it with the other one. See if they will both work. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's not bad. And he's looking quite happy about it. Whoever he's blowing away. Maybe it's Megatron. He's thinking about Megatron, blasting him in the back. Oh, that's going down a bit now. Look, there it goes. That's all right. That's not a, that's not a major problem. I'll just tighten those up or something. All right, so that's that. All right, so the fun bit. The fun bit is getting a cape on. Um, now, the reason I haven't clipped this wing back on is because when I was playing around with it, I found it easier to leave the wing off. And in fact, I took this one off as well because it was it was easier to try and get the cape on. So let's do the cape and then we'll talk about the articulation. So what you have here is you have a wee peg just in there come on focus there we go and then you've got a hole in the back of his arm just there and this is why the wing gets in the way uh, to be fair that kind of does as well but the easiest way I found was just to rotate the arm forward so it looks like he's blasting Megatron in the back and then what you need to do is you need to take stay You need to take the cape and I don't think it really matters which way round you do it so I did it this way because it looked a little bit better from the front so you just you hook that over there like so and then you want to get it so that and it's a little bit awkward to do with camera in a way for me anyway because I'm a bit cack handed you need to get that peg up in that hole and because it's a bit soft plastic I found it that side's fine this side played me up to no end when I was trying to do this last night and in fact I gave up and I've had to come back to this review today so yeah this is a review over two days so again you can see there's the peg and the peg hole Let's see if it'll be nice to me today and not fold over like it. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. And this was the problem I was having last night. And I'm just. I just. I couldn't get it in without it keep folding over. And when I did get it in, it wouldn't go in all the way. So. Okay, come on. In you go. In you go. Go on. In, 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 in. Right, I think it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. Yay! Right. Flipping heck. What an ordeal. Uh, and and now it's uh, now it's on a wonk. So Let's see if I can move it up without it coming off. Yes. Right. Excellent. Good. There we go. So that's in with the cape on. And then you can just you clip the wings on. They just they just pop on. Although I will say that the 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 post because they're quite um. They're a soft plastic, so it's getting it back on. It's not difficult, it just you just have to make sure not to put too much pressure on it or else the peg will break. So go there and then oh that's not right, that's come off of his leg. Where's that? Oh they come off both sides. Oh alright, okay. Uh, no one can go on there. And let's just put these back on. I didn't know these came off. That's not right. See, what am I doing wrong here now? Flipping neck. That's not right. Somebody's shouting at me. You've got them the wrong way around. I know. There we go. I didn't know they came off, but they're a bit hero mashery, these things. They've got bits that pop off left, right, and centre. And let's complete the look by giving him the crown. Bop. 
There we go. Yeah, it looks quite good. I do quite like the way it looks. It's uh, it's a nice looking star screen. Let's take this hand off and let's pop that on. Let's take the blast effects off of the null rays. Let's pop those back on. And there you go. Coronation star screen. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get this to go up. It's a bit awkward if you've got the null ray on there. There isn't much clearance for keep the crown. There isn't much clearance between the null ray and the top of those shoulder pads, so yeah. But it, it's alright, it's not too bad. It doesn't look it doesn't look awful. I just it, it would have been nice if there was some way that we could have got the, the cape to really sort of flare out behind him. Um I some of the higher end figures that I've got have a little piece of wire just running down that. So I think that would have been good. Then we could have just sort of posed it out. But I don't know, maybe I can do that myself. My mum's good at sewing, maybe I can ask her nicely. Mum, fancy doing a job. But yeah, it's not it's not bad. It looks alright. It looks alright. I quite like it. Uh so I just you know smush. Yeah. All right, let's do the articulation. Probably should have done that before I put all this lot on, really, because now this is going to get hindered. But at least you'll see. So the the wings are on this joint, as you noticed, and then they can go up and down as well, which is very nice. I do like that, so you can get a more dramatic look. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's going to keep coming off. Uh, so the arms... Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to take this off. To do the full articulation, I'm going to have to take this off. So just just hold there a second. All right, here we go. This will be better. You know when you have one of those days when you're just really off your game? Yeah, that's a day like today. Anywho, right, articulation. So his head is on a ball joint. It's, um, I mean, you can get a bit out of it. It's not great, but, you know, it's not bad either. Uh, we've spoken about the wings so let's just pop that back out of the way. You can get the arms to go all the way around and they are on a soft ratchet outwards. Upper arm rotation. Um, I I don't know if this is misassembled slightly or if it's meant to look like that but the these arm pieces do look a little bit flared out so I'm not quite sure if that's right or not but anyway that just um, let me know if yours is like that if you do pick this figure up he does have a double jointed elbow thank you Hasbro, always like those uh, he has waist swivel and he has an ab crunch but with the fighter cockpit bit on his chest you can't really do anything but if you pop that off if you wanted to that's what it looks like underneath you can get him you can get him to there. Kind of looks like he's getting down on Funky now. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can use that ab crunch if you so desire. Get one. Uh, legs go out. Uh -huh. That part of the back. Um, that far to the side. Upper thigh rotation, double jointed knee, again, thank you Hasbro. And there is up and down movement on his toes, so I mean I guess you could have him like right on tippy toes. Uh, but there's not really much ankle tilt, which is kind of a shame, but I mean it's not, it's not, it's not the end of the world, I mean the thrusters probably wouldn't I wonder if you take those off. No, you can't. The thrusters probably wouldn't help anyway. So, so yes, he's an action figure and he can do poses. So, yeah, he's pretty good. So, now, if you saw my Bumblebee review, my R.E.D. Bumblebee review, you will know that I had slight issue um, in that he was huge. And I thought, well, surely they're not going to do that twice. 
They wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't dare make Starscream bigger than Megatron, surely. Shows what I know. Come on, Hasbro. Seriously. This is not going to fly. I mean, that might. If I dropped it from a large height, it might. But he's bigger than Megatron. He should be at least a head shorter than Megatron. And again, he's beefier. I don't... I don't know what's going on with Hasbro and this this line of figures. I really don't. Um, I mean, it's it's not as bad as the Bumblebee one. Let me just... If you didn't see the Bumblebee... That's Bumblebee. <laughs> it's, just, it's just massive. It's absolutely huge. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but... It, it's it's not as bad. I mean, I could put Starscream on a on a raised shelf behind Megatron, and then it wouldn't look quite as bad. But that is that's pretty egregious oversizing there. Like I say, it should be it should be well. I mean, maybe not at least a head. I could I could have coped if they were the the same height up to their head. But if I put them back to back, I mean, you can see there's definitely a slight a size difference there. From Starscream and, and also he is definitely bulkier. Yeah I, I'm not sure what's happening with this line. Um, they've improved the quality by leaps and bounds. I've got no problems with the quality. It's it's a very it's a very stable figure. It, it would be if I wasn't trying to throw it backwards but you know what I mean. It's, it's a very stable figure. It holds poses no problem whatsoever. It's got some lovely articulation in it. And I absolutely love the face sculpt. That is definitely Starscream. It, it's just it's, it's just a, a smidge too big. So yeah, I can get away with it, but it's something's fault. Not again. It's that. Gets on. Um, but yeah, overall, I think he's really nice. Um, pick up. Yeah, I mean, he was twenty quid. That's not bad for an, an action figure that's this poseable. I can say that now. Uh, the the first three, I mean, they weren't bad, but they have issues. But I, they, they've definitely improved them. So I, I think they're a lot better now than they were the first wave. So I've got to I've got to give Hasbro um, their due and say that they have at least fixed the issues. Uh, mostly, this I, I can cope with this null ray thing. It's it's not terrible. So. Uh, the one thing that I maybe would have liked would have been another pair of hands in just more like a sort of a normal relaxed pose because you can either have it open or closed so yeah but again that's not a huge thing that's just that's just a me personally thing uh, so yes that's it um, I don't know when the, there, there was a rumour of um, Prime Knockout coming and oh man if they do that Knockout is absolutely my favourite character from Prime. Uh, he's just awesome. So if they do that, I, I will definitely get it. But other than that, I'm not entirely sure what's coming next uh, in the RED series. Hopefully they sort out the sizing issues. I think that's definitely a problem. More so for Bumblebee, not so much for Starscream. But yeah. All right, so that's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you didn't already know, I am now on Discord. So if you would like to chat with me about this figure or any of the other figures I review, then uh, let me know and I will send you a link. It would be great to have you over there. So as always, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>